Further, further member statements, the member from uh, Trinity Spadina. Uh, thank you, Speaker. I rise today to speak about a very important issue, and it's about students, actually. On Friday, November 17th, the Toronto Star wrote about scams targeting Chinese international students. These scams involve phone calls to students claiming that they are under a criminal investigation and must not have a conversation with anyone other than the scammers. After phoning the students, these scammers will phone their family in China asking for ransom money. I raise this issue in this House today to bring awareness to this very vulnerable portion of our population, the international students. Since 2010, international students' enrollment increased by 88.5 per cent in Ontario universities. Today, we have over 100,000 international students in our 45 post-secondary institutions. Their economic impact on Ontario is undeniable. Each year, they bring over $11 billion to Canada. $5.4 billion is spent in this province. International students bring so much to our communities and institutions. They enrich the lives of our domestic students and their learning experience, but we must do more to make their stay in Ontario safer and fruitful. These scams hurt Ontario's reputation as one of the safest and most welcoming destinations for international students from around the world. I urge all members to work together to defend Ontario's reputation by protecting these future ambassadors and potential citizens of our great province. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you.